It's a pleasure to be here, because I was just in Las Vegas, so I need the money. <laughs> I lost a lot of money. I really did. I mean, I get them back at the buffet, don't get me wrong. $9.95, all you can eat. We'll see who wins this friggin' hand out, won't we? I do believe I have blackjack. I was at the prime rib counter going, hit me again. The buffet manager was horrified. You should have seen him. He looked like a deer caught in the headlights. Get the prime rib back in the kitchen. Finally, just, they just gave me my money back. Here's your thousand. Get out! <laughs> Actually, they have a buffet in Las Vegas. It's called the Oz Buffet. It's the Wizard of Oz theme. And it's a buffet. You walk up and it's the Emerald City. And it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. I ran to it. Yeah, how did the wood Joe? How did the duck Joe? How did the night? Step into the sun, step into the light. Fine ribs and pork chops and scampi, oh my! Fine ribs and pork chops and scampi, oh my! You know, I talk about buffets, not because I'm a big guy. No, I'm actually writing a book, Around the World in 80 Buffets. <laughs> and in my research, I found that there are some foods that shouldn't be all you can eat. Like Chinese food, shouldn't be all you can eat because you get hungry again. I don't know what it is. They put something in it. They must. Because I order takeout, they're always real happy. Oh, he's gonna be back. <laughs> I give that big boy one hour. Because <laughs> you do get hungry again. What is it, too? And you go from full to starving. There's nothing in between. You go from, oh my God, I can't believe I ate all that chow mein. Hey, look, they brought egg rolls. <laughs> so I went to this Chinese all-you-can-eat buffet, and while the owner, he got pissed. I mean, he was rude, though. He'd come out every hour. <laughs> Son of a bitch, still here. Look, he go again! <laughs> he started screaming at me. You're going now! You're here for an hour! Why you here for an hour? You not come here anymore! <laughs> Why you have spare rib? You're so big! <laughs> Eat vegetable! Eat broccoli. <laughs> you scared my wife. <laughs> Love Chinese food shouldn't be all you can eat. Now, Japanese food. For the book, I went to an all you can eat sushi place. Mmm. <laughs> all the raw stuff I can eat, huh? It was $22.95. $22.95 for raw fish. $22.95, you throw this on the grill. $22.95, I can't eat a dollar's worth. I brought a seal. I put them right under the table. Another plate, please. That seal ate buckets full. <laughs> the owner thought I was eating it all, though. Got yelled at again. <laughs> this guy scared me, though. He, he reminded me of Lord Toronaga from Shogun. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> Big boy! Big boy, come here! <laughs> you eat like fish! 
that you eat like free willy. <laughs> Actually, I want to visit Japan. You know, sumo wrestlers in Japan are icons. Oh, I don't think I could be a sumo. No, no, they're big. <laughs> no, they really, I mean, those guys are big. I look at them and go, oh, you've let yourself go. <laughs> you know what I also tried for the book? Tried Indian food. Have you been out for Indian food? Yeah, bring a sandwich. Because <laughs> you know they're starving in India. <laughs> now I know why. They got plenty of food, they just don't know how to cook it. You see, Indian food's too spicy. It's, it is spicy. Spicy's a relative term, I know that. Spicy can mean a lot of things. Spicy could mean, oh, geez, you know, that burnt my tongue a little bit. Or it could mean, ah! <laughs> Would you like some water? Ah! No, thanks. I always scream at the table. Ah! <laughs> it's too hot. That curry chicken, it went through my colon like a Japanese bullet train. I wasn't at the table five minutes. Where's the bathroom? Way over there, huh? <sighs> Please, God, let me make it. Don't let me take a dump in the lobby. Oh, look at the line. They served all the curry at once. They shouldn't do that. They should stagger it. You could hear Indian music coming from the bathroom.